Hey y'all, I have got a beautiful piece of meat here in front of me and we're gonna talk about simple prep for it. So this is just a normal kind of London broil. You can do the same prep we're gonna do on this. You could do on a top round, a bottom round. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of cutting the meat up. You can also, depending on what the recipe is and what you need, you can buy the meat already cubed. You can buy stew meat and sometimes we have you do that. Uh, stew meat can be kind of tough. It really is better used for slow and co the slow cooking, Blah. but sometimes it's also just nice to have it in those smaller pieces, which is why I'll tell you to buy like a slightly tin more tender cut of meat and then cut it yourself at home, or you can ask the butcher, they might do it for you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just show you a couple of different options on this. You know, you can slice it. Sometimes we might have, have you do that. So you slice your beef and really easy. Otherwise, you might want it more cubed and or bite-sized pieces. And you know, it depends on your bite. When I, when I say bite size, I'm talking more like this kind of size as opposed to, you know, maybe something a little bigger. This would be, I don't know whose bite that is, but that is not a bite-sized piece to me. This is more of a bite-sized piece. And if you think about it too, the whole reason why we're cutting this up is to make it faster to cook because you get more of the meat to get more surface area exposed to the heat, so it cooks up faster, which is the whole point of doing this. So if you keep it in too large of chunks, it's still not gonna cook up as fast as you like. Also, like with anything, like with our veggies, we wanna make sure that we're cutting these in relatively similar size pieces. They don't have to be exact, I'm not taking out a ruler and measuring, but relatively only because we wanna try and get even cooking. If I have one big piece and a bunch of small pieces, what's gonna end up happening is that that small piece is gonna get cooked up to temperature, to the, the texture I want it to be a lot faster. And then it is gonna either, I'm gonna either risk burning it if I keep going to cook up the larger pieces or the larger pieces are gonna end up raw or not fully cooked through. So that's why we wanna try and make sure that we're getting them in just about the same size. I could be cutting these smaller still if I wanted to, but I like to leave them a little bit larger. So you can see I am almost done cutting all of this. I'll cut these little pieces that I did at first. And see, no time flat, pound of meat, cut up into chunks. That's it for today.